Hey Pisces and Pisces lovers and friends, welcome back to the Pisces portal. Thanks for being here as always. I hope you are enjoying your time, your day, your life, okay? So I found this really cool spread that I thought would be really neat to do. And um, it's called Attracting a Healthy Relationship, okay? So, Pisces, we about to get it in, all right? Shoot, I need this for myself, too, you know what I'm saying? So, let's see what we got going on here, all right? So, Spirit, what is something that Pisces Collective can work on to attract a healthy relationship? What is something that Pisces Collective can work on to attract a healthy relationship? Oh, Lord. Y'all know these cards just be doing the most. <laughs> oh, like, seriously, stop playing. This ain't a joke. Okay? We trying to give people answers, spirit. <laughs> something Pisces can work on. I'm going to pick this one. Okay. Ooh. Knights of Emotions. Sorry about that. Bam. There we go. You can see him. All right. So with this coming out as something that you could work on that will help you attract a healthy relationship. Um, well, first of all, it's your energy, our energy. And the Knight of Emotions, a.k.a. the Knight of Cups, he is just a lovely lad, okay? He is very charming and flirty, um, even sophisticated, I would say, all right? And so I think that what this is telling me is that Pisces, you need to believe in love again. Like, I mean, we're kind of known for being the most loving in the Zodiac anyway. And he he is the one who is going to come and uh, ask somebody out on a date. He's going to ask someone to be his girlfriend. He is going to propose to his girlfriend, okay? And he is going to be the one to um, just be a very loving husband. So... And, of course, this could go either way, but I'm just talking about the Knight of Cups. You feel me? So, um, yeah, so I think you need to be, like, be open to believing in love again. Hmm, come through, spirit. I swear, if you, boy, I tell you, if you don't, mm. So what are some skewed ideas that Pisces Collective has about love, Spirit. What are some skewed ideas Pisces Collective has about love? I, you know, I'm going to pull this card. It was hanging out. Okay. Whoa, who, who is this? Uh, <laughs> I'm like, who is this? The Strength card. Hmm. I'm getting that the Pisces Collective thinks that love and relationships, romantic love, okay, that it kind of, even though this showed up in the upright, this is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like Pisces Collective feels as if love and romantic relationships kind of reduces their strength. Okay, like it takes away from your strength, from your confidence, from your ability to remain strong, which is why you don't believe in it in the first place or you've kind of put it on the back burner. Okay, instead of you feeling as if it elevates you or adds to your life, you know, it doesn't allow you to be in your strength. It doesn't or it hasn't, or you feel as if the people that you've been with before have not um, appreciated you, appreciated your strength, your beauty, um, your spiritual nature, 
Okay, I think you felt as if romantic relationships um, don't allow you to be accepted for who you truly are like you might be with your family and with your friends. And so how can Pisces Collective fix this idea about love, spirit? How can Pisces Collective fix this idea about love? Okay, so this wanted to come right on out. The two of materials, a.k.a. the two of pentacles, okay? So... How can you fix the idea you have about love? Okay. Finding a balance, a realistic balance between what you really experienced versus how you replay what you experienced in your mind, okay? Um, Because if you're going to believe in love, there are just going to be some things that you have to accept. And, um, oh my gosh, I'm so corny. Um, <laughs> I just thought of like that S Club 7 song, like called All in Love is Fair or some crap like that. And I think you got to be real with yourself, Pisces. Like, if you're going to believe in love again, if you're going to be like the knight of emotions and be open. Okay, you have to admit that, yes, I went through X, Y, and Z. Um, But you know what? It happens. Like, I feel like, and this is going to sound corny too. Sorry I'm so cheesy, but no, this is like what's really coming to my mind. I feel as if you have to kind of like charge it to the game, you know? Find a healthy balance between what it is that you actually experienced versus how you replay that stuff in your mind seriously you know and and don't let it weigh more on one side than the you know than the other it's like find a nice middle ground that is healthy and safe for you okay you don't have to go out of character but be honest and find your middle ground How can Pisces accept love into their life? How can Pisces accept love into their lives? Life, lives, whatever. (laughs) How can Pisces accept love? Can I please get one card, Spirit? I appreciate all you do. (laughs) How can Pisces accept love into their lives? Oh, yes. Come through. All right. So we got the page of materials in reverse. Hmm. Okay. So that would be the page of Pentacles. Pisces. In order for you to accept love into your life. Hmm. One, you need to be mature, okay? And finding that balance is about maturity as well. Because it's easy to sit on the sidelines and be hurt when, like I said before, as far as like charging it to the game goes, everybody gets hurt. So with the page of materials here, in order for you to accept love into your life, one, be mature, Um, But two, be, I think you need to approach this from the standpoint of kind of thinking critically. Um, And I also heard therapy as well. So if you feel like you need to consider therapy to help you find that balance before you just go on out there and, you know, like the Knight of Cups. And be like, hey, y'all, here I am. I'm ready. No, you need to take time to kind of like deal with your stuff. Okay. Mm. 
That's legit. All right, so what? why is Pisces Collective worthy of a healthy relationship? Why is Pisces Collective worthy of a healthy relationship? Cosettabomb.com. I have seen some of y'all. I'm like, dang, let me find out. I haven't seen like most of the guys, but the women's, I'm like, okay, sis, y'all some baddies, okay? That's a reason alone why y'all de- deserve a healthy relationship. What? I'm like, yes. Mm-hmm. I done seen y'all. <laughs> I don't see y'all. Why is Pisces Collective worthy of a healthy relationship? Spirit, can I please get one card? I will be so grateful. There we go. Thank you. Yes. Your energy, okay, the muse of emotions, a.k.a. the king of cups. So, Pisces, mm, that's what I'm talking about. (laughs) So, you're worthy of a healthy relationship because ultimately, you are or are destined to be an emotionally mature person that is very, you know, loving and compassionate and caring towards others. Like, I mean, honestly, to me, (laughs) you know... It's like, that makes for a great, um, a great start, you know? I don't want to say, I almost said candidate. I was trying to think of the word. But that makes you, that makes you like a great prospect, okay? Now, don't get me wrong. Like, the king of wands, uh, not wands, Lord Jesus. The king of cups, he is not perfect, Okay? He's not, but at the same time, he has like matured, like he is at kind of the highest level of emotional maturity that you could be at. Um, And that includes extending love and care to others genuinely. Okay. So that's enough said right there. What we got next? (laughs) Mm. How will Pisces find someone that is willing and ready to be in a healthy relationship? How will Pisces... You know, this card flew out, so I'm going to take it. The 10... If you don't come through, Spirit, I don't even know, okay? This is the 10 of Voices in Reverse, a.k.a. that dang on 10 of Swords, Okay? The quote-unquote stabbed in the back card, all right? Child, but it's in reverse. Honey. Mm. That's how, okay? Letting go of that hurt, that pain, feeling betrayed and stabbed in the back, feeling like don't nobody love me, care about me. I'm about to wrap this reading up because that's it right there. Like, (laughs) don't nothing else need to be said. Okay, nothing else needs to be said. That's it. Ease of rap. All right. Um, but I'm gonna say a few more words though. So, with the 10 of uh, voices in reverse, yes, Pisces, you you gotta heal up. And I did with the page of materials in reverse, I did mention therapy. Um, that's a part of healing up. Okay. That's a part of healing up. So you got to let go of um, of feeling like all of those swords are in you. And also, yeah, letting go, letting go of those, those thoughts of betrayal that haunt you. Because that's why you feel like r- relationships um, take away your strength. Because you haven't resolved... This right here. Once you do that, you're going to be like this right here. Okay? Emotionally mature. 
And then you're going to come back through like this one right here. All right. Just ready and willing to, you know, to mingle in all of that. Okay. So my goodness, Pisces, I hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know if this resonated. Um, if this was helpful, I think this was a beautiful reading. Thank you, spirit. And, um, like comment and subscribe. I will see you in the next reading, Pisces. Take care.